Hi folks, welcome to this video on the cardiac cycle. So this is the order in which the chambers of the heart contract. Now, just a brief bit of anatomy about this. What we've got here is, as you can see, the, the side of the heart that's coloured in blue is dealing with deoxygenated blood. So this is blood that has been around the body, dropped off its oxygen, picked up lots of CO2. The red side of the heart is the side of the heart dealing with oxygenated blood. So this is the blood that's come from the lungs, fresh with oxygen, Therefore, it's bright red, and this is going to get pumped around the body, delivered to the muscles. So, what we need to know is the order in which uh, the heart contracts and the heart relaxes. So, it's a very brief question, not much to know on it, but it's, we've got to get a couple of key terms into a straightaway, and here they are. When we're talking about the heart tissue and the heart muscle, we don't say contract and relax, we say systole and diastole. And we measure your blood pressure and systolic pressure and diastolic pressure. So anything to do with the heart, pressure, contraction, all that kind of stuff, it's systole and diastole. So when the heart tissue contracts, it's known as systole. And when the heart tissue relaxes, it's known as diastole. So the cardiac cycle, as we said, is the order in which things go. So here's how it works. So the first stage is total diastole, or just simply diastole. Now what we mean there is the heart tissue is relaxed and all the chambers are open. Here's an atria, here's an atria, here's a ventricle, here's a ventricle. Remember the heart is back to front, even though that's the left-hand side as we look at it, that's actually the right-hand side of your heart. This is the left-hand side of your heart because the heart is in your chest, okay? Uh, and it's the other way around in your chest, not the way that we're looking straight at it now. So at the first stage, all four of these chambers, both atria and both ventricles, are open so we have diastole of the heart tissue that gives the atria chance to fill with blood so so blood is coming into that left atria from there and from there that right atria sorry and into the left atria I should have changed my pen shouldn't I actually that's even worse color start that again from there into there. So if the heart is open, blood is being received by these top two chambers, the atria. So the second stage of the cardiac cycle is then atrial systole. So both these atria, the top two chambers, are then going to contract, i.e. systole, and pump the blood down into the ventricle. So the blood is going to follow these black arrows. Remember, you want the blood to enter the top two chambers of the heart, and then be forced into the bottom two chambers of the heart. So, to go back to the start, total diastole, all chambers are open, so blood can pour into the top two atria. Then, we have atrial systole. When they're full of blood, they will squeeze the blood down into the ventricles. It would make sense then, that following that, once all the blood has been pumped from the atria into the ventricles, that we then have ventricular systole. So, both the ventricles then contract and pump, uh, pump the blood to either the lungs, which we call pulmonary circulation, or the body, which we call systemic circulation. Remember, this blue side of the heart is deoxygenated blood. We need to drop off the CO2 and pick up the oxygen. So the atria here will squeeze the blood into the ventricle. The ventricle will then squeeze the blood to the lungs and we will allow, allow it to drop off the CO2 and pick up fresh oxygen. At the same time, this ventricle is squeezing oxygenated blood into your aorta, the beast artery in your body, which is then delivering the oxygen-rich blood around your body. But the key thing to remember is, regardless of the side of the heart, both atria contract at the same time, atrial systole, and then both ventricles, <coughs> excuse me, contract at the same time, and we call that ventricular systole. As the ventricles contract, the atria are still contracted, they're still shut. That along with these valves, stops any blood going back in the wrong direction, which we don't want at all. So when the ventricles contract, the atria are still closed, they're still contracted as well. So then the final stage of the cardiac cycle is then total diastole again, i.e. the heart fully relaxes. So once the atria squeeze the blood into the ventricles, and the ventricles have then squeezed the blood to where it needs to be, all four chambers will open again to allow the next amount of blood to flow back into the heart. So there are four stages to the cardiac cycle. Diastole, followed by atrial systole, followed by ventricular systole, followed by diastole, again. All right, so that's 
how blood flows. That's where it's trying to get from and to, and that's the order in which our heart contracts.